Now let us start with today's episode of peristalsis. Now what are the learning objectives of today's episode? So by the end of today's video we will learn the physiology of digestion. We will learn what is peristalsis. This is a new term which you will be learning today. And the first part of the digestion that is ingestion, uh, uh, that uh, absorption, digestion and assimilation in details we are going to study in the next videos. But today we will be studying in details the ingestion part. Okay. Now let us see what is uh, the physiology of digestion. Now what is digestion actually? So digestion is a series of physical and chemical changes. So when digestion happens, there uh, are a physical and chemical changes both are happening by which what we can say that the food we are eating is a complex food which is getting converted with the presence of certain enzymes into simpler form or adorable form. So this adorable form is actually required for the absorption or assimilation in our body. Now if the food is not digested properly, that is if the complex food is not broken down into simpler parts properly, then what will happen? The absorption of the food materials will not happen properly. So we will be deficient in many things in our body like iron, vitamins and all. So many, uh, we can say that many important uh, minerals, vitamins and other elements in our body will be uh, deficient if the absorption is not proper and when this absorption will not be proper when the digestion is not proper that is the complex food is not broken down into simpler forms and this obviously happens with the action of enzymes and what are the main parts where this digestion happens the first part is the buccal cavity the second part is the stomach and the third is the intestine so this diagram we all have seen earlier but now we need to see what is happening here. Now see the food enters here. Now we can see that the food is entering here. This, this is the, these three are the salivary gland. I think you can see my pointer over here. Now the food, food is entering the oral cavity. Through the oral cavity the food enters. Now it mixes with the saliva which is being produced by these three salivary glands. I have told in details in this uh, uh, where I have taught you about the salivary glands. Please go through that episode. If you have not gone through, then it will be clear for you. Now, teeth, are pres teeth is present here, which is masticating the food and mixing with saliva. Then, uh, the esophagus is carrying the food. It is passing with the peristaltic movement to the stomach. Now, stomach is holding the food for some time. Then, it is having gastric juice, which makes the food acidic. And the protein digestion starts here. Now from here, through the duodenum, jejunum, ileum, we can say that the intestinal juices are being secreted, digestion continues and the digestion is completed and the absorption starts in the small intestines. Then we come to the large intestine that is cecum, colon and rectum. So cecum and colon, what they do actually? These uh, two, they help in the absorption of water and then in the rectum. The undigested food material is uh, stored or it is uh, before defecation it is being held there and then defecation occurs through the anus. Now what is this defecation? Defecation is the feces are uh, passed out of the body by the process of defecation. That is the physiology term, physiological term rather of passing out the stool. That is called defecation. So here we have already mentioned about liver and pancreas. The two main important glands of digestive system. Here salivary glands are also there which are very important in digestion. Which, uh, When the digestion starts from mouth or the buccal cavity, we can say the salivary glands play a very important role there. Now here when we come down, we are having liver, we are having pancreas. Okay, then gradually we are coming down through large intestine, the holding of the feces in the rectum and passing it out or defecating through the anus. So this is the total process or the physiology of digestion. So with uh, the help of this diagram, I wanted to show you in, uh, in a very systematic manner that how from the oral cavity till the anus, the digestive system is working. So if you learn this diagram itself, you will be learning many things. But you need to mention only the enzymes 
and the juices which are secreted from different organs and uh, which are helping in digestion that we will come in details so this is the basic digestive physiology flow diagram so i think this is clear to all of you if you are still not clear please go through your textbook go through my video once again go through the previous episodes of digestive system so that you can get to know what is the main physiology of digestion now we will go to the main part or the first part of uh, in, uh, of digestion that is of uh, rather we can say that we will start with the ingestion or the step 1 of digestive system now let us move on to the next slide now this is here we will study about ingestion or the step 1 of feeding and digestion now what we will do here we have already told that when we uh, put the bolus of food in our mouth the te teeth is chewing and masticating the food into simpler pieces the salivary glands start secreting the juices and this is called mechanical digestion and there are taste buds present in the tongue which help us to taste whether the food is sour whether the food is bitter whether the food is salty and whether the food is sweet so there are four types of taste we are tasting with the help of taste buds now how this ingestion process is happening here comes the term peristalsis now what is peristalsis now the movement of food not only through the esophagus not only uh, from the esophagus to the stomach but in the intestine also similar type of peristaltic movements occur now if you cut open the intestine of any animal which it is possible like if i take an example of a rat so if you cut open the intestine of a rat after anesthetizing the rat you can see the contraction and relaxation movement of the intestine okay so that is peristalsis so what is peristalsis peristalsis is a series of involuntary wave like muscle contractions which move food along the digestive tract so here we can see the bolus of food which is moving along the digestive tract now the part above the bolus is contraction has happened here the circular movement has contracted now just below the bolus it is relaxed again when it comes down again the part above the bolus is contracting and the part below the bolus is relaxing so muscles constantly keep on relaxing and contracting and gradually through this contraction and relaxation the bolus of food is passed down from the mouth or the buccal cavity through the esophagus to the stomach and again from the stomach to the duodenum to the small intestine to the large intestine and to the rectum so this is the full digestive system where the food is uh, by this peristaltic movement of the intestine it is carried to different parts of the intestine now uh, the swallowing process is divided we can say that the swallowing process is divided into three stages now let us see in the next uh, slide what is happening now here we will see the swallowing mechanism and the peristalsis both together we will see what is happening here the food is mixed here with the saliva and the bolus is voluntarily pushed down here into the pharynx with the tongue the tongue is pushing it into the pharynx now what is happening as the tongue is moving up it presses down the small flap or the cartilage so epiglottis is pushed down it closes the entrance of the respiratory tract and guides the food through the digestive tract now the sensory receptors are here in the pharynx region so what do they do so this sensory receptors these they sense the food which triggers the swallowing reflexes now here when the food is coming here the epiglottis is pushed down the food is moved uh, to the uh, digestive tract and it is the it is uh, guarding the respiratory tract now pharynx is having certain receptors which senses the food is coming down and we are swallowing the food or swallowing the bolus now as soon we are swallowing the bolus what is happening in the third stage the reflexes they trigger the swallowing and then the peristalsis transports the food to the stomach by the 
alternate contraction and relaxation see alternately here it is contracting here it is relaxing again contraction again relaxation again contraction and relaxation so this process continues throughout the alimentary canal which helps to move the food now the gut constricts by a localized contraction of the circular movement okay the gut or the stomach it can contracts by a localized contraction of circular movements in the gut wall okay so this is how this peristalsic movement occurs and how the bolus from the mouth is transported to the stomach so in the next part we will be studying about the part 2 that is the digestion in the mouth the digestion in the stomach and the other parts of the full digestive physiology so here we are ending today's topic but you should learn this properly when we are coming up with the next video of digestion in mouth and digestion in stomach you should all be clear with this peristaltic movement you should not have any doubt in this if you are clear with this process then you will be clear with the uh, further coming uh, videos or else please uh, be uh, clear with your textbooks if you are having any questions and any queries ask me and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you can get the pop up whenever you are subscribing whenever i am putting my updates you will get the updates then and there in your Uh, system and you can keep yourself updated with my uh, lessons okay so as of now today uh, this topic is over okay thank you